And can you explain to our audience what like doing a VR scene entails for a guy and why one mm. might find it difficult? Don't breathe. <laughs> The whole time. No, um, so basically what it, VR is, the virtual reality, and they're trying to be, they, we're putting you in the place where you can be me. So they're putting a camera like right here and then the microphones are right there. So breathing isn't exactly your friend. Making noise isn't exactly your friend. Also using your hands isn't exactly your friend or things you can do at all. So you um, basically have to be completely frozen frozen and but then also you want to help the girl out so if you want to do anything it's just like an ab workout where you're throwing your hips in the air just trying (laughs) to give something back but the reason these are um some people might think this is awesome some people might think this is terrible but one of the problems is because a lot of people think that every girl in this job is amazing at sex i'm gonna tell you that's not true (laughs) no No, way and nor does every girl want to fucking be there (laughs) They'll sign the paperwork, but it doesn't mean they're going to bring that fucking attitude to work. So you get girls who are just fucking garbage on, like, in their first 20 minutes is them doing everything by themselves. They're giving a hand job. They're giving a blow job. They're riding. And there are just some people out there who I'm only guessing maybe have never walked a day in their life because the leg muscle they have is not there. Mm. And uh, and I understand. I'm not saying riding's not hard. I understand. It's I, awful. It's awful. I get it. But – Play with the distance, play with your environment, lean over, do this. I've I've done up and over for a really long time, but that's because you find those places. And luckily enough with VR, they want you close to the camera so you can kind of bend over and make it look like you're Mm -hmm. weird. It looks, it seems weird to you, but it works out for them, you know? Mm -hmm. And also because I can put my legs up and as long as we have a good understanding, we can make it work really well, you know? Uh, Ride for a little bit, then grind, 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 ride for a little bit, grind, grind, grind. But then you get some girls who just, just sit on you and they just do this the whole time. And if I'm not really turned on, well, I'm just going to go flaccid because I can't feel anything. Mm-hmm. So that's what kind of makes it hard. It's and a lot more work on the girl. Whereas a lot of times in a boy girl scene, like the guy will carry at least yeah. like some or most of the scenes sometimes, especially if the girl is not really like yeah. good at, she's not a good mover. Yeah. I can, I she's a pillow princess. I can fucking, I can make it work. You know, mm-hmm. I can throw her around put her here, here, here. Yeah. As long as she's, you know, happy, not going to scream at me in a little bit. Yeah. Which, there's definitely people who've done that. Um, but yeah, so it, it makes it tougher cause the girl has to use a lot more of her muscle to do something. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, and also the hard part is because if the girl starts like just it in, in your head as the talent, you're like, this girl's just not giving a fuck. This girl is just f-, like, cause all your bad thoughts are just going through your head and you're just like, I just gotta stay hard. I just gotta stay hard. I just gotta stay hard. Just think of good things about her. I can't fuck. Yeah. And you're just trying your best. And not every day is like this. You know, there's always fucking amazing days. I've worked with some girls. Where I'm like, yo, can you stop doing whatever you're doing? I'm about to come and we are just five seconds in. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. So, you know, there's good days. There's bad days. Just like every other jobs are uh, there's ups and downs. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think a lot of guys don't realize like it's a mental mm. game almost as much as anything because you're working under all of these, you know, different conditions and like you said some days are great some days you're working with someone like angela white Mm. who's like everybody loves to work with she's into the she's into it you know like she's she's gonna deliver and and how she's always be able to be into it i just give her so many i mean she's like that that i've never worked with her and she's been like off like she doesn't have off days she's super consistent um and then you know there's some girls who are just not as enthusiastic or maybe you just don't vibe with them you yep. know like different different personalities maybe it's you're working outside in las vegas in july in mm. the sun and it's like 120 degrees maybe yeah. you're working in a pool in january oh, and it's 30 degrees so like good. you know there's so many variables that can make or break a scene mm. and i think a lot of people are just like well i mean you just got a hot chick in front of you how could you like not have a hard dick all the time, but that's not the case. You know, I remember, um, I remember being on a, a very, very big company set, right? And uh, we're just on lunch, and that goes to talk about, like, we're talking about something, and basically they're like, "Oh, Nathan, this is purgatory," and I'm like, "Jesus Christ, if this is my purgatory, this is really hell." And one of, the, and one of the, uh, f- I believe, female liaisons was like, "Well, at least you get a fuck them," and I was like, "I don't even have enough time to tell you how stupid you are right now." <laughs> I just don't. It's like, yeah, that, that'd that be like me going up to anyone who's been in Iraq. Well, at least you're going to shoot guns. Yeah. Yeah. 
dummy. Yeah, it's cool. I get to fuck people. I don't really get to come the way I want to. It's like I don't get to jerk off. I don't get to do all the things I want. Like we, we were, I was talking to some buddies the other day about the fact that like how many times they get to have sex with people. And they're like, oh, but you have sex all the time. I'm like, kind of. When was the last time I had sex off camera? You know, and actually got to have sex. Mm -hmm. It was like once in that last month. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.